and there is no need expressed by Israel that the United States has not been able to meet. That's because we have an Israel essentially on auto pay. As a consequence of legislation that was passed by Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, the administration is pre-authorized to meet any need that Israel could uh, possibly express. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So we've been seeing a ton of Matt Gates lately. He's been making a lot of noise. And of course, you know, it's basically being listened to along purely partisan lines, right? After all, you know, every intellectually compromised, mushy brain victim of propaganda in our chat here is convinced that the man is a sexual predator criminal or whatever other terrible thing you could possibly be. You know, they can't tell you why exactly. They can't prove to anything that is actual real. You know, they just believe it, mainly because they're told to. Anyway, you know, I believe that the man has said something here. I think he's dropped a bomb that every American needs to hear. But before I show you that, guys, thanks to everyone that's been subscribing, leaving such great comments. We're building a great community together and I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, please help us to continue to grow, like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share the channel. So Matt Gates, he comes out swinging, absolutely destroying the tired old Democrat talking point that they've been beating us over the head with forever. You know, they keep saying, you know, the Republicans are destroying the world by not having a speaker. You know, Israel's at war. We need money. We need weapons. We need laws. We need Congress as if they're some sort of magical entity. Well, he's got a perfect answer for all this. Take a look. Congressman, do you regret ousting Kevin McCarthy given that Israel is now at war with Hamas and we don't have a speaker? Absolutely not. The United States stands with Israel. Israel has a right to defend itself and there is no need expressed by Israel that the United States has not been able to meet. That's because we have an Israel essentially on auto pay. As a consequence of legislation that was passed by Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, the administration is pre-authorized to meet any need that Israel could uh, possibly express in this particular phase of the crisis. My expectation is that we will elect Speaker-designate Jim Jordan as House Speaker next week, and we'll be prepared to move forward with uh, resolutions of support. But those are non-binding expressions of our opinion when it comes to the movement of specific materiel and the coordination on intelligence. We are pre-authorized because our relationship with Israel is that unique. So all you propaganda trolls, hear that. You know, what that man just said is 1,000% correct. And honestly, you know, I'd venture a guess that this guy on CNN, even, you know, most of the Democrats using this as some sort of partisan cudgel, they really have no idea about these, this legislation, no idea about this authorization. They have no idea what we're even talking about here. And I hope, you know, actually that they do have no idea because if they do, if they do understand it, well, then of course, as usual, they're just lying and they are preying on the fact that the people who follow them aren't smart enough to know any better, you know? And I realize as I say this, you know, it's, it's very likely that that's exactly what's going on. In fact, it's not likely, that's what's going on. A lot of them don't know, but even the ones that do know, they're just counting on the fact that you don't know. So, you know, the trolls, they're wrong here. And I will say, you know, to their broader point, it it may be a little reckless what Matt Gates has done. Honestly, I support it because I'm not a huge fan of rhinos. I've never really been a big fan of McCarthy, and I definitely am not a fan of what he did as speaker. Because honestly, aside from authorizing what has been basically toothless investigation so far, the man really didn't do a lot of anything. You know, so I support a new speaker. I definitely support, and I'm definitely excited about a potential speaker, Jim Jordan. But I do think that what Matt Gates did, he could have handled this a little bit better, right? There was probably a better way, you know, a way to have had a speaker back up who everyone knew could already get to 217 votes that could have just kind of walked in to the speakership, you know, without so much mess, without so much fodder for the brainless. I get all that. You know, they probably could have done something like that. And honestly, they should have. They should have done something like that. But this is what we have. And this is where we're at. And honestly, where we're at is in a situation where these rhino, weak Republicans are talking about, you know, some sort of Democrat power sharing dynamic, which will never work. That is feckless. That is weak. That is what you guys always come up with. It's just the most weak and terrible ideas ever. And the sad thing is, you know, you only need a few of these fools to get nervous and jump ship for this all to blow up. So 
Anyway, I'm getting a little off track. Could have done better, but here's where we're at, so let's get it done. And I think his take here on this issue is fantastic. Let me know your take in the comments, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.